Um, so, um, thank you all for coming in, into this room, and thank you all for inviting me to assist you in this matter. I think, as I've said to you both, that as you know, I'm not here to act as a judge, I'm here to help. But I'm very keen to do everything I can to try to help you find a solution to what is clearly a difficult matter for you both. Now look at Hannah and look at Jane in particular because um, well, this is not an easy moment, just meeting together at a time like this, given all that's happened. And I want to recognise and acknowledge that, um, but also you should know that this is not unusual from what you're experiencing is what happens in business when things don't quite work out. So again, it's important to recognise the value of the opportunity that you have here today. I wanted to mention opportunity because obviously I will try everything I can to give you the opportunity to use this mediation process in the best way that you can. Ultimately, however, it is up to you too, with the help of your employers and your advisors, to make the very best of this. And as I've said privately, you have choices to make. As we come towards the business end of the day, there will be some decisions, there will be some options and opportunities to take. And ultimately, it's up to you, if you wish, to take responsibility for these. I can ask hard questions, I can press you on where things might go wrong if you don't reach your field. Finally though, it is for you with your advisors to decide what to do. But at least you're here, and that's, that's a good thing. Just think about this, you're here. You could otherwise, and, and if this doesn't solve itself out, you will otherwise be in a court. And I'm sure your lawyers will have told you that court processes can take a long time. Uh, they can be very expensive, and I think as one American president, Abraham Lincoln, used to say, you've got to remember that the nominal winner is often also a loser, because we talk in this profession about the zero-sum game. Often in court, what happens is that everybody loses, and I want to be sure that you test out all the possibilities today with that in mind, and be very clear about what happens if you don't resolve this. The benchmark is not how much you might get in court or what you might achieve in court. It's what happens if you don't achieve a resolution today. And we can talk about that more in, in, in due course. Um, <clears throat> in a funny way, you may think this is what I would call a paradox. You are once again in a joint venture. You were once before in a joint venture. And for this to work, you have to work together. So Jane, if you're going to get an outcome today which is acceptable to you, it must also be acceptable to Hannah. And Hannah, if you're going to get a, an agreement which works for cars, it must also be acceptable to Jane. So you have to help each other. And I know it's been difficult in recent months, but the purpose of this process is to help you help each other, and I will try to enable you to do that. And I'm very conscious that when you get into a dispute like this, people can take up their positions and confirm positions and behave as if you are right and the other person is wrong. And I look at either of you, or look at both of you here, because I, I don't know whether there's right or wrong. In fact, it's likely that there'll be a mixture on either side. Uh, but one thing that I'm going to ask you to do is to step back from the position that you may have taken and the sense that you might be right, and remember that the other party is seeing it from a different perspective. In fact, I often draw this diagram to, to make the point, see if I can do it properly, something like this. It's a piece of cheese, and it could just be that I have no colours, you might be seeing it from this, this perspective here, and you see a rectangle, and it could be that 3WP, you see a triangle, completely different. The court, of course, might see something completely different again, which doesn't meet either of your satisfaction. And remember that underneath, there's another dimension, the fourth dimension, which is where everything goes wrong, goes rotten. So I'm very keen that today at least you understand where each other is coming from and why. And that would lead us then to this, I hope, as our aspiration. Let's take these two circles like this. Let's assume one is cars and one is 3WP. You each have your your ideas, your positions, your values, your claims, and if you go to court, you'll end up doing this, 
you diverge, that's the way the court process works. However, today, what we really need to do is find a way to do this. So everything that I'll be working on today is to help you to find what I call the intersection of these two circles. And there's probably quite a few possibilities there. There may not just be one outcome, there may be a number of outcomes. But all of my efforts are designed to help you to work <coughs> together to find the overlap. So quite helpful perhaps just to think about that as we go through the day with all the ups and downs which the day may bring. Um, we're now going to, I'm going to ask you to listen to each other. And what I would like you both to do is to listen out for new things. And actually try and surprise each other. The way it's easy to assume that either you know everything or that the other side knows everything. It is certainly possible, indeed it's almost inevitable, that neither of you have a full picture. So by talking to each other, you help to fill the other person's picture in, particularly if you think about the cheese analogy. So try to help each other by giving information which helps the other party to help you. We're back again to you need to help each other. And I'll encourage you, if I can, to do as much of that as possible. I mentioned assumptions here. I, I often say in mediation at this stage, I make no assumptions. And I invite you to make no assumptions. So if you have assumptions and we all have them, try and put them over here. Uh, there's only one assumption, perhaps, to make, and that is that everybody is trying their best. So I will assume, at least until I hear otherwise, that everybody in this room is trying their best. And I would ask you to think the same of each other. Just a few uh, thoughts about this. I want you to remember or remind us all that this is confidential. So whatever is discussed in this meeting is, all, is, is private, just as our private meetings have been private. Therefore, you are free, please, to say things that need to be said and to explore possibilities and options which might be new. Um, listening is so important. So e e when somebody is speaking, can we agree that everybody else stays silent? If you feel you want to say something, you can maybe indicate, but maybe just hold on until it's your turn to speak. And if we can agree that, if, if we get to a stage where people are speaking over each other, I might just pause and just suggest that we hold and we consider what we're doing and start again, perhaps. Now, let's just look at my notes. I think I've probably covered everything that I want to say at this stage. Um, Maybe apart, f apart from this, this, this really is an opportunity for you as business people. You run what I understand have been and still could be really successful businesses. Now, I don't understand your businesses well, but I do understand that if you get yourself caught up in a court process for many months, it is unlikely that that will be helpful to your business. Today you have the opportunity, while it's still within your control, make decisions with your advisors that you have control over and would allow you, if you choose, to get on with business. And I want you to think for a moment about what it would be like tomorrow or next week if this particular dispute was behind you, you had a solution and you could move on. And again, it's entirely up to you how that might look and what you might do to reach that and, and, and work with it. I want you to leave you with that idea. I mean. Now, all that having been said, that's probably much more than I should say or need to say. Um, but as I say, it's really good to work with you. And I think we've agreed, Jane, that on this occasion, Hannah should start first and set out her stall and her, give her point of view of how Carlos see things. And if you and your advisor would, would listen to that and then give you the opportunity, if you wish to have a break and you can think about responding, or if it's comfortable to proceed straight away. Are you all happy with, with what I've said? Any questions at all about anything that I've said? Any concerns? Let's get on, shall we? Good.